Hello folks, I wasn't going to do a vlog at this restaurant here where they serve an all day breakfast as we are eating in a rush as we have to uh, check out of a hotel and catch a flight to Bohol. However, after having their meal, it's definitely worth a vlog and give props and a shout out to this place because the food is yummy delicious. Not only is it yummy, delicious, and delicious, but it's so affordable. Not just affordable, it's very cheap as they serve any break all day breakfast anywhere. Oh, it's, so nice it's it's here located in Makati. It's called Kanto Free Self Breakfast. They serve all day breakfast, anything from Tapsilog, Long Silog, um Tinapang um Bulongong to Oreo cookie pancakes, berry pancakes, Nutella banana pancakes, eggs, bacon, whatever it is your tummy desires. So it's a must place to come to here. Check it out. I highly recommend it. Again, it's called Kanto Freestyle here in Makati. The only downside to it is it's right by a busy street where you hear a lot of the uh, motors and noises from the vehicles tricycles and motorcycles but you just it's a you know it's a quick um bite you just get a quick bite to eat and you don't have to pay, spend too much money we've only been here for about 30 minutes and we are done eating so yeah check it out here it is kanto freestyle all day breakfast in makati Two thumbs up. See you soon. For our Kanto all day breakfast, I am having the uh, just to Tocino over easy for fried rice. Kayla is almost done. This was Oreo pancake. Yeah. Looking, Hannah, let me see. Banana and peanut butter pancakes. And now is having the Kinabang Gurung Gong, Tosolog, Sile. And this is my Sile with my vinegar salsa and dip. Bon appetit! I don't think I can. It's just finished. 
Sorry. The wedding is ceremony is actually just ending right now. People are coming out. I don't want to bother them, but let's take a look. San Pedro Makati. Uh, first missionaries here in 1578. Jesuits built this church in 1620. Uh, administered it until 19. 68 adjoining where the novitiates for the Jesuits and a house of retreat. Both the church and novitiates were dedicated to San Pedro in memory of Reverend Pedro de los Montes, builder of the church, and of Captain Pedro de Brito, Rigador of Manila, who donated the site in 1607. Cool, interesting. So here we met two lovely gentlemen. What's your name? Jesse Aligarbis. Jesse Aligarbis and? Joel. 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 So Jesse, um, what were you saying about this church? What is the anniversary year? Yeah, the, our um, Virgen de la Rosa, the, the, the images of uh, Virgen de la Rosa is already uh, 300 years this year. Okay. Uh, it's already uh, canonized by uh, our um, Vatican. Tapos, pwede mag Tagalog. March. 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 And then uh, our church, uh, 400 years uh -huh. uh, next year. Next year, so, two, so 2020. Yeah, 2020. To 2020. Oh, okay. So right now, um, there's a wedding going on. Yes, there's a wedding. And it's a it's a Friday. It's nor it's common to have a wedding on a Friday. Oh, it's Saturday. I can't keep track of the time. We're from Canada. You watch basketball? Yeah. Toronto Raptors. Yeah. Okay. You make sure um, you subscribe and you'll see yourself on YouTube. Okay. All right. Thank you. High five. Thank you. There's the bells. Bells up there. It's a beautiful church. And we're also a member of Yapak Nasarino. Yapak Nasarino? Yeah. It's a organization of our church. Oh, okay. And it's a best day on January 9th. First day? Yapo. Sa Quiapo. Oh, balik na kami on January 7. It's okay, but I'm going to plug it sa YouTube. I'll tell everybody. Promote, to promote it, okay? But make sure... Tattoo. That's a nice tattoo. Nice. Well, that was a nice treat. Seen a bit of that wedding ceremony. Met a couple of people, locals here got new subscribers and are now way back to the hotel. Later!